have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Good chamber pressure. This burn should last about one minute, six seconds. Good steady state level, beginning to drop off a little bit now. This is a 64 second burn. 30 seconds remaining now on the burn. Pressure's beginning to trail off. 20 seconds remaining. Standing by for Stico 2. And we have Stico 2 shut down. Overlook system pressure dropping. Spit up, and the third stage burn is next. Spinning now at about 70 RPM. Okay, we have a pitch and yaw acceleration. Underway. Again, this is about a 90 second burn. And then we'll begin to despin from about 55 RPMs all the way down to zero. I advise that uh, our data is uh, delayed here in the flight commentary console. Data is a little bit behind. data here at the uh, flight commentary console is running about 45 seconds or so late.
looking at the event times, the uh, spin rocket uh, firing was about two seconds uh, from the expected time. Second and third stage uh, separated within two seconds. Ignition uh, occurred within about three seconds. So events have uh, occurred approximately on time and on schedule. Spacecraft separation in two minutes, 55 seconds, which will occur southeast of New Guinea. Spacecraft will separate at a rate of about four miles per hour from the third stage. Delta flight commentary at uh, 59 minutes 40 seconds into the flight, about uh, 2 minutes 15 seconds until spacecraft set. About a minute away now from spacecraft set. Spacecraft continues to gradually despin. bringing Tracy's mic. Standing by now for confirmation of spacecraft separation. Delta flight commentary at uh one hour, two minutes, 28 seconds into the flight. Uh, still waiting for our data to catch up. Separation was to as occur. As we get additional information, we'll relay it. Separation was to occur at uh, 61 minutes, 44 seconds. Uh, our correction, 61 minutes, 49 seconds. 